dreams are very common and they cross cultural boundaries and differences. And when you really look at it, people, American people's dream or nightmares uh, are not that different than Iranians or Europeans or Africans. There is a common thread of fear, of loss, of abandonment, displacement, violence, alienation, you know, and, and particularly in this time that we live in, our, our fears are very common, our anxieties are very common. I'm a storyteller and I like to create experiences. When the audience enter the room and they're surrounded by numbers and numbers of photographs of people with their gaze on you, at the viewer, and you're standing in the middle of the room, you are part of the story. And I, I think there's something also very emotional about um, not just being a passive viewer like we've become, as people who watch art, you know, you just pass something by. You cannot escape the sadness, the melancholy, the gazes of those faces right on you. I don't have a paintbrush, I don't paint, I don't make sculptures. To me, the, the human body, human figure, is my canvas and and the expression that i can get through the gaze through the mouth through the hand through the feet um, which are what i feel like being a muslim i've learned to reduce to those elements because we were always told not to capture anything else in our bodies um, but yet i feel with these limitations you can express so much and i feel that Nothing is more powerful than human portraiture in terms of what it says in its minimalism. It's, it's really a perspective of an immigrant, someone who's been given a home here, that I'm not native here, but I have lived in this country longer than I have lived in my own country. And there's a lot of duality it's very interesting to go back to the beginning of the show and the end of the show and see this connection, this parallel between Iran, US, dream, reality, natural landscape, artificial landscape, between the self and the world, the inner, the outer, the political, the spiritual, the mystical, the violent versus the religious, all of these dualities, all of this material that intuitively I approached at the very earliest point of my career, my, my artistic practice, now is still continue in a different way as my latest work. I'm so grateful for people to make time in this historical moment.